beautiful so looks like there is going to be communication with you guys okay all right let's have a look at the cards okay aries with the king of cups in reverse here you could be uh probably thinking of this person as someone who's being emotionally unavailable okay mm, this could be someone who has trust issues okay or someone who's just not ready to open up they're viewing for them on their thoughts they look at you as a king of pentacles so they see you as someone who's very focused on their money their gold your own stability etc so they see you in good light but yes you definitely see them as someone um you think of them as someone who's just not ready to open up emotionally someone who's probably emotionally very very manipulative okay it's like they drag you into the situation they play games with you and they see you as someone you know who's very focused why do you keep saying they see you i mean that's what they think about you in your feelings with the 10 of wands here so you this is an energy that is draining you out okay it's a big burden on you while for them with the 10 of cups here they feel this is a very emotionally fulfilling relationship to you to them okay mutual energy you both want is the empress here which means you both want commitment you both want growth expansion okay maybe one of you wants it more than the other but uh, definitely you both have this you guys are on the same lines of wanting this commitment together wanting to grow wanting to create something new with each other the reason for the new the reason why there is no communication is because someone is seven of swords in reverse here there's someone who's feeling guilty so someone could have cheated lied or someone could have just been hiding their feelings or just withholding a lot of information here but in the reverse here which means that there's someone who's guilty and wanting to return back to you where is Let's see. Okay, let's clarify. Clarify. Tell me more about the King of Cups in reverse. Tell me more about the King of Cups in reverse. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? Page of Swords. Yeah. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Ah okay so yeah this person so you think this person is emotionally unavailable but at the same time they're watching you okay they're spying watching looking at you from distance but they are a little shy probably someone who's still not wanting to open and uh, have an open conversation with you okay you're dealing with someone who's very very immature when it comes comes to communication When it comes to them, they think you're very focused on your work, career, your goals, your own stability, security. Maybe they even view you as someone who wants commitment, okay, or someone who wants long term. But you've definitely ended things with them, okay, with the death card here. You put an end to their bullshit for sure, because it could be someone who is very in and out of your life, or someone who just you know wanted, you know, they wanted, um, they wanted the love from you, but when it came to their part of giving it, that's when they would hold back, okay, someone who didn't want to be vulnerable towards you. So oh, yeah, when it came to um, because see for them with the ten of cups, yeah, they find it, this to be in their feelings. It's a very very emotionally fulfilling card. Okay, so this is like the ten of cups. They are very very happy with you. But on the other side, when it comes to you, you feel this is a relationship which is a very big burden. Okay, yes, it does give you a lot of happiness because we have the ten here, not the nine, which means you're very happy here, emotionally fulfilled probably. But when it comes to their part about giving this to them. you know so i feel you being like the 9 of cups and them the 10 okay they're very happy because you're giving them that energy you're giving them those emotions okay you are probably upset is because you're giving them everything but in when it comes to getting something back from this person right that's when it becomes a very big burden on you it's draining you out emotionally you feel you're doing all the work and this person is just not putting in the work tell me about the 10 of wands tell me more about the 10 of wands Tell me about the ten of wands, please. Tell me about the ten of wands. Tell me about the ten of wands. Ace of Swords, yeah. And I think you want to cut through the bullshit this time. Now the Ace of Swords here, you want clarity. There is a lack of clarity here. You want that mental clarity, but the Ace of Swords is also you want a breakthrough. Okay, you want this bullshit to stop, and you want things to move forward. Either you want things to move forward, or you just want the truth. It's like what the hell do you want? Do you want to invest into this or not? Okay, you, do you want to be with me or not? There's just some kind of truth that you want, okay? Because this is just it's getting too much for you day by day. Seven of Cups here, you're being very confused. This person probably gets you very confused, or they just you know 
it's it's you're always daydreaming about this person but you still don't know where you stand in this person's life okay tell me about the ten of cups why does this person feel the ten of cups for aries tell me about the ten of cups why does this person feel the ten of cups with the tower and with the tower and reverse here. Yeah, so they're trying to avoid a disaster with you, okay? Four of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So they feel that you're someone who's let this person go. Okay? They feel like you've released them. You could have been holding on to them for, for a very long time. You weren't letting them go, but they see you as someone who's released them, okay? And uh, it's literally like they're trying to avoid a disaster, okay? Because they see you as their wish fulfillment here. But here, there's, there's something that, some kind of disaster that they're trying to avoid, okay? And this could be that um, entire package. Tell me why the Seven of Swords in reverse? Why is all this happening? Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse here? Why is the seven of salt in the rose here? Yeah, see, that's the reason. That's the root of the issue here. This person keeps doing this, you know. It's a repetitive cycle, you know, going over this over and over and over again here. This person wants a reconciliation here. We have the karma card, bottom of the deck. This person wants to come back. They've learned their lessons. They've caught their higher calling. And they want to stop any kind of negative patterns that they have been repeating over and over again. And according to me, the negative pattern, only negative pattern that I see out here is withholding information or withholding what they really feel or getting scared of something committed. Okay. When it comes to the 10 of cups here, they're okay with it. Okay. As long as it's a very emotionally fulfilling, uh, it's, it's emotional fulfillment. But probably when it comes to giving you anything more than that, which is towards the 10 of pentacles or something more stable, that's when they keep running away from him. But the, what you don't see coming is that they want a brand new beginning with you. They're coming back. They're feeling guilty about what they did. Okay. They want to turn a new leaf. They want to make a very honest and straightforward approach this time. And with the fool, they want to see where it goes this time. But you with eight of ease of sorts here. I think you're done with them. You're pretty done with them. They want this in their feelings. They have the ten of cups here. They want this, okay? They find you, they, they see you as they're happily ever after here, okay? But there is something that they're constantly avoiding, you know, over and over again. Oh, right? this is just the tower moment that has occurred and they want to rebuild with you, okay? They want to repair the damages. And they want to come in and they want an opportunity to build with you from scratch and build a strong foundation. That's why the fool here. All right, tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is this Aries, this approach or attitude towards the person they're, they're in no communication with? Tell me about the Four of Cups. Knight of Swords in reverse. See, yeah, you're so disappointed. Your attitude is like with the Four of Cups. You're just done. You're very discontented, you know. You're not happy with what is being offered. You're so you're so unhappy that you don't even want to see the other the last cup, the fourth cup that has been offered to you. You're so focused on what didn't work out between you guys. Okay, so you're in this very low vibrational energy right now, Aries. Like you're just not being motivated. You know, you, it's that boredom. You're just bored because things are stagnant and things are just not moving forward. Okay, it's like the same story again and again and again. And with the Knight of Swords in reverse, here, you're just holding back communication, or you're just not as enthusiastic and um, interested in communicating with this person as you were probably once, okay? So you're holding back communication here. With the sun here at the bottom of the deck, all you want to do is focus on your happiness, okay? You're in pursuit of your happiness and that's all you care about. So you're holding back communication, okay? And it's like literally, I'm like this time, you're so bored that you're just in no, you're just not in a rush anymore, okay? To, to probably uh, confront them, okay? Because you could be someone who's always wanting to confront them and, you know, like, go ahead and talk to them, like, what the hell happened? Talk to me, you know, like, let's talk about this. This time, you're just like, you know what? Never mind. It's like um, trying to avoid a conversation because, you know, it's going to lead to some kind of argument or conflict. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse here. Why is the Three of Cups in reverse? Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse. Whoa. Give me a second, the cards fell down. Tell me about the three of cups in reverse. Can I have the three of cups in reverse, please? Why is the three of cups in reverse here? 
Knight of Cups in reverse here. This person is having a very hard time opening up emotionally. Okay, this is someone who does not want to get vulnerable. Someone who's uh, you know very in and out of your life. Okay, that's still their approach towards you because they feel there is this lack of you guys coming together. They feel there's this lack of reunion. Okay. And of course, this is someone who does not, uh, who's holding back from expressing themselves. Okay. Look with the 10 of cups here. There is a lot of love here, guys. Okay. But there's something that they feel that if they express themselves, okay, if there's this tower reverse here, which means that they're trying to avoid something from happening. Okay. I don't know what that is, but probably they feel you'll shut them out completely. Okay. Because with the seven of swords in reverse here, that's a repetitive cycle, right? That's something that's been repeating itself over and over and over again. Okay. So yeah, but they want the same thing as you. They're just not confident enough to open up emotionally to you, okay? They don't want to be vulnerable to you because they just feel that you probably will deny and you will not want to have this reconciliation with them. Why is the high priestess in reverse here? Why is this the outcome? Clear for the high priestess in reverse. Clear for the high priestess in reverse. Eight of cups in reverse here. So see, this is exactly what the problem is here. Eight of wands here, okay? But you're, you're, you're dealing with someone who wants to move things now, okay? He wants to talk to you now. Like, let's talk, let's talk, you know? Like, they want to move things really quick and really fast, okay? But with the high priestess in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse here, their intuition is asking you to be with you, okay? But they're having a hard time listening to their intuition here. Neither can they walk away. They're having a real hard time walking away from you, okay? That's the outcome here. And nor are they listening to their intuition, okay? So this is someone who's probably ignoring their intuition here and they're just not being able to walk away. Now, this Aries can also be you who knows whom you need to walk away, but you're ignoring your intuition and you're still sticking to the situation or... This could be them who knows that they need to talk to you, right? But they're ignoring that intuition. But at the same time, they're stuck on you and they just cannot move on from you. Because I do see, I see more emotions on their side here, okay? Not like I don't see emotions on your side, but it's just that something's becoming a burden to you, okay? So probably I'm getting from your side that you're just giving and giving to the situation without getting any kind of reciprocity from this person, okay? That's why you have this feeling of discontentment here and now you're completely holding back from this person. You're holding back, so they're catching on your energies and they have a feeling that you're just not interested in this, okay, anymore and they feel you won't give them another chance here. As the outcome here, like I said, right, someone's not trusting their intuition, okay, they're choosing to um, trust their logic, okay, over their intuition, but at the same time, they're just not being able to walk away, okay, now whoever this is, but that's what I have for you, so if you talk about communication, it, um, well, the high pieces in reverse is communication, in reverse is someone uh, communicating or the truth is about to come out, but it can also be that the truth is out and someone has realized that they can't walk away. But if it comes to literally communicating this with you, it's there in their intentions. Okay. But when it comes to literally expressing what they want to do, it's the Knight of Cups in reverse here. Only because they're lacking the confidence of whether you're going to still come back to them or not. Okay. That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.